state two roles of active transport. So the first role of active transport, we see that it mainly helps in the small intestine whereby we have the absorption of food or the absorption of mineral salts from the large intestine. So we have that absorption which mainly takes place in the intestines whereby some materials will be absorbed by active transport, some materials will be absorbed by diffusion. So apart from that, we have absorption of mineral salts from the root, uh, not from the root, so the absorption of mineral salts from the soil and into the root hair cell. So those are among the roles of active transport. So the active transport, remember, it, it comes about from a physiological processes that we have and let's define what is cell physiology. So cell physiology, this is the study of the cell function. So this is the study of cell function. So cell physiology is also an other branch of biology whereby we have physiology. Physiology means the study of the body function. So that's the branch, which is physiology, study of the body function. In this case, we have been asked about cell physiology. So cell physiology, this is the study of the cell functions. That's the definition of cell physiology, whereby we see that we have three main physiological processes. The first one is diffusion, the second one is osmosis, the third one is active transport. What's the definition of diffusion? So diffusion is the process whereby uh, molecules or particles will move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. That's the definition of diffusion. So what's the definition of osmosis? Osmosis will define it as this is the process whereby water molecules move from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration through a semi-permeable membrane. And note this, if you have been given any living tissue as an experiment in an exam, any living tissue is going to point towards osmosis because that living tissue, that is a semi-permeable membrane. So any living tissue, it points towards that experiment you are being asked is osmosis and not diffusion or active transport. So for examples of the living tissue that you might be given, you might be given banana peel, you might be given a potato, you might be given um, any, an orange peel. So not this, unless the question states otherwise. But if you have been given any living tissue, note that, that is osmosis which is being tested. So apart from that, the third physiological process, we have active transport. So whereby for the active transport, you'll define as this is the movement of molecules across or against. This is the movement of molecules against the concentration gradient. So for example, for us to understand active transport better, you'll see that if for diffusion, the molecules should move from a region of high concentration to a region of low concentration. That is diffusion. But now the active transport will Tell these molecules, no, you molecules, you must move from a region of low concentration to a region of high concentration. So the active transport always acts against concentration gradient. So if the concentration gradient wants molecules to move that other side, so active transport will move those molecules from that side, which is not wanted to the opposite side. So that is active transport. So those are the three main physiological processes that we have, diffusion, active transport, and osmosis.